today we would like to start strabismus series and the first topic is accommodative isotropia which is also called refractive isotropia it is one of the most common forms of childhood isotropia it is a type of squint that occurs when the eye tries to focus the things clearly patients with this squint are typically hyperopic so the eyes must work harder to see the things clearly particularly when the object of interest is nearby or close this focusing effort is called accommodation the closer the object to the eye the greater the amount of accommodation that is required side effects of increased accommodation is excessive convergence there is a high risk of amblyopia in such patients so early diagnosis and prompt treatment with plus glasses is important so initially these patients can wear glasses or contact lenses that should correct hyperopia and relax accommodation and when such patients wear glasses the eyes straighten up immediately because of the relaxation of accommodation such refractive glasses or contacts should be worn full time but then the question arises that there is also a term of partially accommodative isotropia so you have to differentiate between fully refractive and partially refractive isotropia now if the eyes becomes straight it is fully refractive isotropia and if even with the correction the eyes are little bit uh, isotropic it means partially accommodative isotropia now in those cases where the eye glasses uh, fail to straighten the eyes the squint surgery may be recommended to help improve uh, ocular alignment avoid amblyopia and promote binocular vision development you should counsel the patient that you will wear the hyperopic glasses after surgery but your deviation but, uh, but your deviation will be corrected the eyes will be straight with glasses and uh, the in surgery you can do medial rectus recession or uniocularly medial rectus recession and lateral rectus resection now in some children uh, in some children uh, the eyes are straight at far with hyperopic glasses uh, and there is excessive isotropia at near while reading these children benefit from ma- making the lower reading area of the eye glasses extra strong in the form of a bifocal lens so if someone asks you a question that uh, are bifocals only used for the presbyopia or in children they can be used so now you know the answer that in children especially in accommodative isotropia you can use bifocals as well and you should also know that as your child ages myopic shift will come because of the size of the eye it will increase the axial myopia and the accommodative isotropia will decrease but how much we can't predict